10 most up planes that uh, dominate the skies. So the marvel of flight uh, never ceases to amaze and the spectacle is that much more unbelievable when the aircraft is longer than Olympic uh, swimming pools, uh, heavier than world's biggest tanks and even taller than five-story buildings. From Antonovo's hulking AN-225 rear to the inconceivable wild uh, structural launch, I've compiled a list of the biggest planes in the world flying today. Hi guys, this is Flying Fusion. Uh, welcome back to another video and make sure you subscribe to this channel. In this video, uh, we're going to look at the 10 most planes uh, that dominate the skies. So at number 10, we have the Strato Lounge, okay? Paul Allen Strato Lounge certainly is a, mo is a monster plane, uh, okay? The composite six-engine tw uh, twin-fused large aircraft has the longest wingspan in the world of about uh, 385 feet from tip to tip. So if you placed a, a Strato Lounge on a football field, uh, the wings would extend through the goalposts an extra 12.5 feet on both sides, okay? The aircraft is designed to carry rockets up to the strato, uh, stratosphere and drop them, uh, where they will then launch to space. The alternative to convectional uh, rocket uh, launches could uh, conserve some of the fuel needed uh, to overcome all of the Earth's gravity from sea level to orbit and launch small rockets at rapid space. So, shuttle launch could carry as many as three small launch vehicles at a time. So, Virgin Orbit is, a, is working on a, a similar plan to launch rockets using a 747-400, okay? In 2018, uh, the shuttle launch conducted a low-speed and high-speed runway test, uh, and the first time it moved under the power of its six Pratt and uh, Whitney uh, turbo fans, okay? A year later, it took to the skies for the uh, first uh, test flight. Uh, the 2.5 hours flight was a sight to, to be seen, okay? So at number 9, uh, we have the Douglas KC-10 extenders, okay? The MC Dowell Douglas KC-10 extender is the largest fuel capacity air tanker aircraft in the world with a uh, with a uh, 164-foot uh, uh, wingspan, uh, the aircraft can haul a massive amount of fuel. Uh, we are talking about uh, uh, 2,000, sorry, 250 gallons of fuel. Okay, uh, the Air Force uh, is in the process of acquiring a new tanker, the Boeing KC-46 Piegas, uh, which will be more efficient and uh, have more advanced. Uh, avionics than the KC-10, but the Trijet Extender uh, will still have the biggest bit on the fuel capacity by about 70 tons, okay? The KC-10 stores uh, jet fuel in three main uh, wing tanks, okay? Uh, as well as large fuel uh, tanks and uh, the cargo flow. It can alternatively be flown uh, with crew of uh, 75 to uh, with, with a crew of 75 to 73 tons of cargo or 85 tons of cargo in all cargo configuration, okay? And by the way, guys, uh, I didn't know that uh, airplanes fuel are stored in the wing. So if you too know, you didn't know about that, maybe you should know. I thought you should know, guys. So at number 8, we have the Airbus A380. The Airbus A380 is, uh, is the European 747 and the A380-800 is the largest passenger aircraft ever made uh, with a room for 850 passengers okay it flies some of the longest routes around the planet but like the 747 it may be starting to get replaced with smaller planes with a similar range okay the airbus a380 is truly the world's uh, flying bus flying more uh, more people at the time than any other plane in history okay so at number seven we have the Boeing C7 Global Master. Okay, three. The C5 Galaxy may be the U.S. biggest military plane, but the C7 Global Master is the primary workhorse. Okay, the aircraft took its uh, first flight in 1991, and uh, 279 uh, Globe Masters have been built uh, since. Okay. The C-17 airlifter uh, can haul about 85.5 tons into the sky 
uh, flying missions around the world to transport troops and cargo and perform airlifts to medical evacuations and fly air drop routes. Okay. So at number six, we have the Boeing 747. So the Dreamlifter is already on the list, but it is only it only represents a small part of the accomplishments of the Queen of the Skies. Boeing has built over 1,500 Boeing 747s, and the planes uh, have served as the largest passenger and cargo aircraft in the world. Uh, a military command center in the sky, Air Force uh, Air Force One and uh, Space uh, Shuttle uh, Lifter, and um, a telescope flyer or for NASA, okay, plus Iron Maiden, even as one called Aid Force One, okay. The aircraft is being uh, phased out of airlines in favor of a single ISOL design uh, that can now fly uh, within uh, with enough range to cross the oceans. Uh, but as the, uh, the uh, but as the only U.S. mass manufactured four-engine jumbo jet, uh, the Boeing 747. Uh, has some years uh, in it yet, okay? So it's, uh, they're not facing out the 747, okay? So at number five, we have the Airbus Beluga XL. Developed in 2014, uh, the Beluga XL flew uh, its first operational flight in 2020 after more than 200 uh, test flights, okay? It has officially joined Airbus, okay? Uh, already be more fleets to move uh, certified big things around the world, okay? The plane is massive, yeah, it's 206 feet long and uh, has the largest cross section of any cargo plane in the world, okay. A pair of Rolls Royce uh, trained 700 turbofan engines help the uh, hulking plane airborne, okay. Uh, it's got a leg, uh, it's, it's, a, it's got a longer wing uh, up to on the previous A300-600 A3, uh, super transporter, okay. The Beluga XL can haul not one, but two of the massive A350 XWB wings, okay? So as number four, we have the Boeing B-52 uh, uh, Stratofortress. The B-52 entered, uh, entered service in 1955, and the first B-52H, the current model, debuted in 1961. So the B-52 bomber is the grandfather of the Air Force, okay? Aging. But still capable of delivering a serious punch. Yeah, the buff can carry up to seventy thousand pounds of weapons, from precision-guided convectional bombs to nuclear warheads. Okay, uh, while the B-2 stealth bomber is uh, and the B-1 supersonic bomber could be retired when the B-21 is introduced, uh, the Air Force wants to outfit the reliable B-52 with new engines to improve efficiency and range. Okay. So while the giant bomber enters its sixth uh, decade of service, the technology within its hold uh, is ever evolving. Okay, as the Air Force is also planning to equip the B-52 with a long-range stand of missile. Okay, a stealthy nuclear cruise missile. Okay, so at number three we have the Boeing 747 uh, Dreamlifter. In the 2000s, Boeing found uh, found. Uh, it needed a cargo plane uh, with enormous uh, amount of storage to transport components for the 747, uh, 787 Dreamliner, sorry, uh, which has parts made uh, all over the world. So the solution was to take uh, the biggest plane, the 747, and build a custom cargo hold around it, okay? So at uh, 65,000 cubic feet, the Dreamlifter has the largest cargo hold in the world, okay? Capable of carrying at least uh, three times the volume of a 747 400F uh, freighter. Okay, so the four uh, Dreamlifters Boeing uh, made also use the uh, longest cargo load in the world and can haul payloads of up to uh, 125 uh, tons. Okay, so number two is the Aerospace Line uh, Super Goopy. Okay. Um, so a guppy might be a prey, but the super guppy is a predator, okay? Uh, the bloated aircraft has been retired by every institution in the world except uh, for one, NASA, okay? So the U.S. Uh, Space Agency finds the guppy, uh, guppy's wide dimension, uh, perfect for transporting uh, spacecraft and uh, rocket components, okay? So the first uh, super guppy was constructed from a ballooned... Uh, 
uh, fuel, fuse large taken from uh, Boeing uh, C-97 uh, shuttle fighter, uh, which first flew in 1965. Okay, the turbo pop cargo plane was largely re- uh, replaced uh, by the Airbus Beluga uh, for large and awkwardly shaped cargo delivery. Okay, but as long as NASA uh, still has uh, use for the Super Goopy, uh, it will continue to baffle people in the sky. And NASA loves uh, the Super Goopy uh, plane. Okay. So at number one, uh, we have the Antonovo AN-225 mirror. Uh, by most metrics, the Antonovo AN-225 is the biggest plane in the world. The Antonovo Design uh, Bureau in the Ukraine SSR built just one for of this monster cargo aircraft. Okay, uh, Antonovo designed it to carry the Buran space plane. Okay, the Soviet uh, version of the space shuttle as well as the energy rocket boosters but uh, the plane quickly found uh, other airlifting work after being refurbished following the collapse of the uh, soviet uh, space program okay so the an uh, 225 yeah is the heaviest aircraft ever built okay with a maximum takeoff weight of 710 tons uh, it holds the record uh, for the total airlifted payload at 559,580 pounds as well as a lifted single item payload at uh, 418,830 pounds 418,000 sorry 830 pounds it has the longest uh, wingspan of any plane currently flying at 290 feet and it has the it has 60 it has six freaking engines guys <laughs> in 2020 the hulking aircraft joined the global fight against COVID-19 when he took to the skies to deliver supplies to countries around the world uh, whose resources were stretched by the pandemic, okay? So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Take care of yourselves and I will see you in my next video.